I'm Joshua Hall. Hello everyone and welcome to the Segway Fest. Yeah, you're just heading straight towards the new setting. Hi, I'm Gabriel. This is a bike. I'm Izzy Vaughan. These are Wallace, and I'll be showing you how to use them. And, and we, we are, are no gear. Hello everyone, and welcome to No Gear. Tonight on the show, I have a wet welly. Oh, oh it's just gone up my knee. Izzy has a wet welly. Yeah doesn't have a wet welly. To start off, we have a, a biking film. We're testing a road bike, an off-road bike, and a bike that's in the middle. Hope you enjoy. Biking film. First of all, safety. Who needs any? Secondly, it's extremely cold today. Uh, that's why I'm in winter clothes. So is Izzy. Gav isn't really. Uh, but apart from that, so it's quite a nice day. Oh my god! You're a genius. Oh. You're a genius, honestly. So, I am on the road bike. Gare is on the road and off-road bike. And Izzy it's is on the off-road bike. So, we shall be testing these first on-road, then off-road, and then in a river. Because why not? That should be interesting. Yeah, it's what we do with most of our things. Test them on water, off-road, and on-road. Sort of our mojo. Let's go. Let's go, yes. Come on. Oh, hurry. Yes. Look. You're really. Come on. Yeah, yeah ready. Look. Josh, you've got to finish. Ah. Let's go. So, here we are on road, but this is boring. Let's get into the woods. How cool you think you are, don't you? Yeah. Stopping me. Six is cool, ladies and gentlemen. Overtaking on a hill. So what we're going to attempt to do is make a road through the river. We're going to move stuff to places where there's more stuff so we can cycle through it nice and easily. And then we'll test the full potential of these bikes in a river. Uh, oh, the water's chilly. My, my Josh, we don't have to cycle there. No, that's the deep end. So I'm marking it with big rocks. Right, put a few more so we know where not to cycle if we don't want to fall in and die. Ah. Right, put that one in the deep bit. Look what that did to me. It's fine. As you can tell, my colleagues are being great help to me by leaving me to do everything. Is he sat on a hill and Gare's just stood there watching whilst our film crew film us. I'm watering the plants, ladies and gentlemen. Right, mark a path. Down the river. What do you mean, mark a path? Put rocks either side. Ah. Just ready. Go. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god. Success! But there's more. Those gear is horrible. So, ladies and gentlemen. The reason I'm cycling through this river and through deep parts is because Gare wanted me to. Not simply because I chose to. Izzy will do the same. Ready. Also, we're going to speed up the film 
to save time because some Ooh. viewers may find it incredibly Jeez. boring just to sit and watch us attempt to cycle through a river. Hope you enjoy. Progress is slow. My socks off. Oh, it's just gone up my knee. <laughs> so right now I've got a pond. I'm I'm sitting down. This can be extras for the uh, Chris for the Christmas special. <laughs> There's still a lot. How about right? you try it, Gare? <laughs> no, I'm fine, thanks. I can't get I my shoe off. <laughs> All the water is sloshing out of my boot and up my leg. Such a small help. I'm stuck. Are we still around there? No. Yeah, we're going back down over the bumpy bit. No. Yes. No. Nope. End of our biking tour. I have a wet welly. Izzy has a wet welly. Gare. Doesn't have a wet welly for once. Gare. Anyway, to the news. Welcome to the news. Izzy's going to kick us off this week with a story she's found on the internet. Izzy? Skateboarding woman aged 62 struck and killed on PCH. The 62 year old woman was riding a skateboard down the alleyways and then she came out onto a main road. She got hit by a car and then ran over by a minivan. Not a good day for her. The doctors were an able to really save her. She died. Why does a six year old sixty two year old woman go on a skateboard? That's what I was wondering. <laughs> I mean, you gotta be pretty athletic at that age to go on a skateboard. <laughs> I feel like that guy that ran that ran who was like a hundred or something. Yeah. Isn't that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, some like, old people are quite incredible. Quite right. incredible. <laughs> Right, I was flicking through the news the other day, and I found this. <laughs> so that is a mobility scooter with an engine going down a road. Evident, as you can see, faster than all of the cars. Must, That's quite impressive. Must have been going around 40 miles per hour. Yeah. Faster. Probably, yeah. Gotta, you got to have been. Maybe 50. That's impressive. Well, if it's not impressive, then I don't know what it is. <laughs> um, I was flicking through the news this week, and I found a new light which is available for, well, bikes, scooters, wide flickers, whatever you choose to use when out in cities or towns. It has four different light modes, um, as well as a laser light, which will which will set you back £125. But it has an added safety feature which will certainly help you in those busy cities. How much is it? I just said, £125. What is it, attention. What is it that will help you in busy cities? Well, the light, I presume, well, yeah, and the laser. In, in busy cities. It like, kills people as you go through. In busy cities, <laughs> there's lights everywhere. Everything maybe down right. country, maybe country roads. Maybe it's an image. Here's an image. So, can you see those buttons at the top? Do you see them? The four, yeah, on there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's got to be something... Well, that'll be to do with the modes. 
so I presume it's also to do with the laser and the safety features. Maybe it shouts like, GET OUT OF MY WAY, I'M A CYCLIST! <laughs> <laughs> that would be useful in London. Yes. But in America well, they're all bus fat. Drivers. And they can't ride bikes properly, so... <laughs> and Japanese people will go around on like some electric whiz kid thing, because they're all good with technology. Mm. Yeah. And probably everybody in like China and Japan probably all have the iPhone. Ten. Holland, Holland. Three, three out of four people Amsterdam. in China are fat. Amsterdam is where that's going to sell because everyone rides bikes. The city anyway. is made bikes. How about like in country lanes? This this one light has brought a big debate. <laughs> right, moving on. Yeah, yes. swiftly moving on. Uh, we're going to continue now with a film that. Me and Izzy has made. Hope you enjoy. Hello, and seeing as this episode has been all about bikes, Hello. we thought we'd tell... Is she serious? <laughs> Our Miss Producer <laughs> is talking. Anyway, uh, so seeing as this episode has been all about bikes, we thought we would discuss which bike you should get. If you would be better with an off-road bike, a bike that's in the middle, or a road bike. I, to be honest, I think that this bike is the best because it does both, and it's and you don't when you're going out, you don't want a bike that's off road because you're on the road, and when you're off road, you don't want a bike that is built for going on roads. Now. I have a very different opinion. I think the best bike you could possibly get would be a road bike. As we are just as just as good off-road as on. The on-road can hit speeds of about 30 miles an hour. Off-road it can hit speeds of maybe just over that to about 20. And it's got good clearance, it's comfy. And that's why I think you'll be best with this bike. So, what do you think? Which bike do you think is the best? As you can see, <laughs> this seat doesn't look very comfortable as this bit is extremely long and if <laughs> on the... <laughs> on the male point of view, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't look very comfortable. Don't know what you're on about. As Josh is demonstrating. Oh. <laughs> that was thick and into it. But as you can see, this seat looks a bit more padded and a bit more comfier, if you would say so. But this seat, on the other hand, has a big hole. Well, I say big, but a hole in the middle. And if I demonstrate... <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. You idiot! No, I don't want to fall again. Oh, she came with head. <laughs> so, so, as you can see, this bike is clearly the best by default. Um, and it just is in general. So, back to the studio. And that's the end of No Gear, episode 3. We hope you enjoyed. Have a nice day or night, whatever time you're watching this. Goodbye. <laughs>